Hey, welcome back to yoga. Um, this is video number six, and um, all you need again is a mat and a comfortable place. So we have some great um, new poses to do today. So let's go ahead and get started. Come into um, your seated posture. I think today I'm gonna take a different um, seated posture on my knees and just sitting back onto my heels. Uh, but again, whatever's more comfortable for you. So let's start um, again by tuning into our breath, our deep belly breathing. And um, today you can actually place a hand over your heart and over your belly and just begin to breathe. So we're going to use our hands to give us some feedback um, as to if we're breathing in, into our bellies or breathing into our chest more. So as we continue just to kind of naturally breathe, just notice where, what you find lifting and raising more often. So what you want to feel is your belly moving away from the, the spine on your inhale. And then on your exhale, the belly button drawing into the spine. And you should feel just a little bit of lift in the chest. So like we discussed a couple of videos ago, um, if you're finding that you're having a lot of lift in the chest and not very much movement in the belly, remember that stress mode breathing. So you want to consciously change the style of breathing that you have. Um, and remember we do that by on every inhale letting the belly relax so literally like letting everything hang out um, we often hold everything in so tight so we can you know not see any rolls over our, our shorts but um here in this exercise we want to really let our abdominals relax on the inhales good and on now your exhales draw the belly button into the spine Good, so continue to deepen your breath. Good, one more deep breath in. And long breath out. And let's take that deep belly breathing into our poses. So go ahead and come on to all fours. Good, so when you're in all fours, this is a great time to practice deep belly breathing. Good, so on every inhale, let the belly button drop and move down towards the ground. And on your exhales, draw the belly button into the spine. Coming onto all fours, go ahead and extend the right leg back behind you. Follow the foot onto the mat. Squeeze the glutes, station the hips by really drawing that belly button into the spine. And on your exhale, lift the heel off the mat. You want one straight line between the head and the heels. And if you'd like a little bit extra challenge, you can lift the opposite arm of the leg that's lifted. Good. Notice my shoulders are in line with wrists. And exhale, release. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Inhale, deep belly breath. Extend that leg out. Exhale, lift the leg up. And if you'd like more of a challenge, you can extend the opposite arm. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Exhale, release. Bring that left knee down on the mat and extend the right leg out to the side. And now scoop the hips open. So we're going to come into a side plank. This is a new pose. Bring the left hand in line with the knee and the foot. So you kind of want one straight line between the bottom of your um, between the limbs that are on the mat. Good, so you're opening up the hip. Your hand can rest either on your um, on your waist, or if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, extend that right arm up to the sky. Good, one step further, you can turn your gaze up to the sky. Good, and if this seems like it's a little easy for you and you kind of want more of a challenge, go ahead and lift that back leg off the mat. Great. If not, keep that back leg down. Good. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So you're going to switch knees. Good. Extend that left leg back. Right arm is in line with, the, with your knee and your back foot. Good. You're squeezing the glutes, tucking the hips under, rolling the shoulders open. And again, you can rest on your hands. Or extend 
Send the hand up. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Tuck the toes under. Lift the knees up. Downward facing dog. Remember with down dog we're aiming for a straight back. Not a rounded back. So you can put a micro bend in the knees as needed to keep the back straight. Good. Deep belly breaths. You can rock the hips from side to side. You can oscillate the knees back and forth. Good. Inhale. Come into high push up. You can drop the knees down, creating one straight line between the head and the knees. Good. Exhale. Low push up. Lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale. Upward dog. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. The tops of the toes come down. Good. Exhale. Downward dog. Draw the hips back and up. Good. One more time. Inhale, come into high push-up. Drop the knees as needed. Good. Exhale, low push-up, lowering all the way down. Inhale, up dog. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Good. Exhale, come into child's pose. So bringing the knees wide on the mat, toes together. Go ahead and set the hips down and back. Good. Deep belly breaths here in child's pose. Use gravity. Let gravity draw the hips open. Great. When you're ready, you can come back up onto all fours. Go ahead and come up to standing. We'll bring our left foot forward. So we come into warrior one. This is a new pose we've done that we haven't done before. The back foot is turned inward. Okay, and I want you to draw that right hip forward. So we're wanting to create the hips parallel to each other. But the tendency is going to be to want to open up that hip. We're not going to do that yet. Good, so you've got your knee in line with the ankle. You're really letting the hip flexor open up. Hips are parallel. Good, and you're shifting the weight into that front heel. Great, your hands can come into any heart, any position that you like in front of your heart, or you can extend them up over your head. Good for warrior one. Don't forget to breathe. So you should see your breath moving in and out through your belly. Isn't this fun? You guys are doing great. Wonderful. Go ahead and release the hands. Come down onto the mat. And let's come back into a child's pose. Knees wide, toes together, set the hips back. Remember in child's pose, you can reach on your inhale through the edge of the mat, and on your exhale, set the hips back a little bit further. Good. Let's go ahead and move into warrior one on the opposite side. So bring your right foot forward. Come up to standing. Good. Again, you might need to create some space between the legs. Notice the back toes are facing the front of the mat, so in the same direction as that front leg, okay? Good, so you're sitting back into the heel, right knee's in line with the ankle. Good, opening up the chest, and you can extend the arms over your head. So the weight is in that front heel, okay? You should be able to kind of wiggle your toes, the front foot. Good, if you'd like to take an arm position back behind you, interlocking the, the fingers back behind you, that's fine to you. Breathe. Good. Feel the benefit of this pose as you're breathing. Your breath is really going to make yoga practice, like your yoga practice, a lot deeper. And um, you're just going to get more benefit from it in, as far as your flexibility, your relaxation. Good. And when you're ready, you can gently come out of the pose, bring your hands down to the mat, come back into child's pose. Knees wide, toes together, set the hips back. Good. 
good. Inhale, come back up. And let's go ahead and come to a seated posture. Come to a wide-legged stretch. We've done this before. Everyone's going to have different widths at which the feet can be apart. That's totally normal. Just do what's, what, what you feel is comfortable for you. So taking a deep breath in, extend through the crown of the head. And on your exhale, I'd like you to bow over to the left side, really rounding the spine, kind of reaching over as if you were reaching through or over a beach ball. Good. And you can turn your gaze up to the sky. Just do your best to, your best to open up this chest. If you feel more comfortable just keeping your hands here, that's fine too. Good, and exhale, release, come back to neutral. Inhale, lift through the left side. And exhale, round, bowing over to the side of the body. Good, opening up the spine so by turning your gaze to the sky. Don't forget to breathe. And inhale, come back to neutral. You can exhale and bow forward to the middle. Good, walking the hands out as far as you feel comfortable. You can bow the head if you'd like. Um, you can even round the back a little bit if, as needed. Good, and inhale, walk the legs back out, or back, the arms back up, and exhale, release. I'm going to roll the shoulders backwards, Good. Keeping the breath moving. Feel that nice stretch and warming up of the shoulder blades. You can even drop your head left and right. And if one side seems to feel really nice on your neck, go ahead and just hang out there. Breathe into your neck. Good. Reversing sides. And you can drop your chin to your chest. And extend and lift the chin up to the sky. You can even place your hands on your heart. Good as you do this. Wonderful. Go ahead and close the legs. Bring the feet together. Good. And again, you can have your feet at any distance away from your hips. as Whatever really feels comfortable. You're going to get a stretch um, and get the benefit of this pose no matter what. I also like to kind of pull the flesh out from underneath my sit bones so that I really feel like I'm sitting on my sacrum. Go ahead, take a deep breath in, lift and extend through the crown of the head. You can grab your feet like pages of a book if you'd like to open them up, or you can grab at your ankles. Either one is fine. Just make sure you avoid pulling the feet up towards you. And on your exhale, any exhale, gently bow forward. Leading with the heart, you can use the elbows to press the knees down. Good, so we're keeping the back straight here as we're, as we're leading with the heart. We're going to round the spine after this. So if you've rounded the spine, go ahead and come back out. Take a deep breath in, straighten through the back. Good, and just gently bow forward until you find that your spine's going to want to round. So we're all going to have different, different degrees at which we can bow forward. Hang out here because it's going to be a different stretch with the back straight versus rounding the spine. So this time, go ahead and just gently give in, letting the spine round and arch forward. And just notice the difference in the stretch in the hips. Don't forget to breathe. Good. And when you're ready, you can slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Great. And bring the legs together. You can hug the knees into the chest, rock from side to side. Just feeling the counter stretch to a hip opener. Good. And when you're ready, you can uh, come to a comfortable cross-legged position. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that um, your hips feel a little bit more open from the Warrior One that we did and also this butterfly um, and that you're beginning to feel a little bit more confident in um, our usual poses like down dog, up dog, high push up, low push up, 
Um, those are pose and child's pose. Those are poses we're going to continue to do um, throughout the practice and even into higher levels of yoga. Uh, so um, if you have time on your own, continue to practice those poses, especially if you're at work and you're feeling like you're just dragging and you need a break. Find a comfortable place um, that you can be in private or uh, maybe with some of your coworkers and show them some of the poses that you're learning. You will definitely feel rejuvenated um, and be able to avoid a cup of coffee. Okay? Namaste. Have a great rest of the day, you guys. Bye-bye.